This station, the slave station, is no police station, no train station, no bus station. Calling all bad slaves from long gone till nigh. Slaves that recognize their culture, never bend, never bow. Never listen to Babylonian philosophy, but interested in mother hurt and mother life and mother liberty. All bad slaves tune in to the Badar station, Jabon station. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night, world. This is the Rastafari International Ambassador, Jaboni, better known as the Badass, the man from Boswak, Bakawal. Today, I'm going to be addressing quite a few topics. <clears throat> Namely, I'm going to take you on a journey to back a wall in terms of unforgetting history. What prompt me to do this program today is two things. One, you have this young man by the name of Sir P or Mr. Porter that have a channel goes by the moniker Jamaican Young Police. And recently, you have been, I've been listening to him, and he have been spreading a lot of misinformation about my colleagues. Note, I said colleagues. I listen to Porter just like I listen to Footer Hype, Mr. Vegas, Ida Star, Warwick Hill, all these young people, I listen to them. Because this is how I learn. And I'm able to teach. So I can't teach if I don't know the subject. Now, what prompts me to really, a lot of people that listen to me keep saying, badass, straighten out Porter. Me hear him bring on a little man the other day from out of the flowers. When I say little man, no disrespect. I am bring on little 13. No disrespect to Liquor 13. But better ask I go talk to Porter now. And the reason why I'm going to talk to Porter today is two things. Because some things need to balance. I hear him talk to, I hear him do part one and part two interview with Marlene McLeod, who is Starkey Liquor Sister. Respect Marlene. Didn't even know that you're still in existence. And I'm sure you didn't know that I'm still in existence. One of these days we will catch up. Um, I will try to link you through the grapevine. Some of the things then that I want to talk about here now, you will be in the classroom as well because I'm going to lay it down. Things you will learn here too, because even though you are the general sister, there's no dispute about that because I know you personally. 
the next reason is that I have been telling my chronicle, and the general is a part of my chronicle. Without the general, I have no chronicle. I have laid down, and Porter must have heard this. Right? But him go silent. And the reason why him go silent when him hear me talk, because him can't talk to me. Come, let me tell you now, me start off. Len can't talk to me, Len don't know me. So no care how oh, Len bad and how much man him kill. Adam's the same thing. Porter the same thing. Me just said, lay my foundation. Me left Jamaica 1976. Me never know no Adams and me never know no Len. Yeah, so Len them. And Porter, I'm in a league because I'm ill snow Porter talk. Porter, Uncle, like to portray himself as a police. But let me tell you something, Porter, about my team. It was my team that took the vow death before this honor. Do you know why we took that vote, um, that vow? We took that vow because of how we grew up, see Joe Williams and him team treating the elder Rasta them. Yeah. We witnessed Joe Williams them, those whole Rasta cut them locks, do all kind of things for them. So when we decide that we are going to take the vow, I listen to you, Porter. Some of you hear me now. When me I'm going to tell you, come and listen to you. Me hear the despisation where you have for justice. Yeah? Me hear it. Me hear it. But I want to make you know now that the same way, the same despisation that you carry for us, young sufferers, you, you label it, all kind of label, and then you tell yourself, say, the only thing left for us is the departure lounge. But let me tell you equally, Mr. Porter. Me remember, Porter, if you listen and follow me, it me tell you how we get our gun. I me tell you, say, me never buy a gun yet, Porter. So you have to know what kind of youth you talk to you now. All of my gun them with that Jamaica. A police will take them from. So I know why you come and talk like and scare down the youth them like a who know a the authority. Let me tell you something, Porter. There was a time. Yeah? There was a time when police we watch this when we are youth. There was a time when police would have stopped a youth and beg him a search. And when them search you by hugging you around the waist and draw the man on your waist. <coughs> Sorry. And feel the iron pan your hip. Police would have pushed you off. And open fire upon you. So this is how the cold-blooded murder start. Bad boy I walk with gun. Police will them, search them, push them off, and blow them up. Me witness enough of that. And when we see that, between the Rima 13 and the Park Heights, and the salt man, and the warwick Isle man them, and the firehouse man them, we turn up the vow. So now, the game changed for the porter. Because when boy like we are walk with gun, and we say, oh no, we not got no chance to come hug me up and feel no gun and push me off. From, from we sooner, the first thing, gun in hand, guns out. Porter, 
enough for honor. We, me and my friend, start here, yeah. sack, and me not even call some mother man down the name right now. When we soon, as we soon, guns out! And you know what I do? I want to laugh and keep it moving. And we start that trend. Yeah. Once we soon, because we know so we're not killer. And this killer will be killed. Once we saw no guns out. And found us the guns out. What wanna do? I wanna shake on the head, smile, and walk. And if I look at innocent police when they know we arrest me and carry come at Denham Town or Admiral Town. Wanna, wanna physically abuse me. And we are telling us, hey boy, next time I see some gunshot you'll get. Yeah, enough I wanna tell them things that wanna face. Because we don't know, we don't know what time. So certain police people say, when them see we, don't put them on pan we. Because we are telling us, hey boy, when I come and see them, and see you, let me see you. Yeah, so this is the kind of feelings that was there all the time. Now, it was my generation that also declare the best cop is a dead cop. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't never know that. You have some man with a so weird thing. Yeah. All of my colleagues then, that was a part of the code. Not only did before this honor, but the best cop is a dead cop. Yeah. Guys, why are we not? Some of why you come talk like, you know, they are by yourself. When you don't want into certain soldier, it's war. Because we didn't know that Kappa did not tell we in a training that any time we encounter you know, the knives must start by us. Yeah. So once we start the knives, we now have to duck and dive. And we take ourselves easily. A simple, it's a simple encounter. If you start the knives first, then I'm a dead man. Do the maths. So anytime the engagement, the knives have to start by me. It's not the other way around. If the if the knives start by you, Porter, then I'm a dead guy. Yeah. So you have to know now. Don't come and I make it look now. You're talking to some little coward nowadays youth. We have bigger gun than my time, but them don't, it's like a them friend, them, them a friend killer. Yeah. They, they, them think twice when it comes to confront the system. Now, now that is said, Porter, cause I'm not come for trace with you. I'm not come for tell you what I know about my story and my chronicle in terms of my engagement with you all. Now, I hear you speak to Marlene, and Marlene, Marlene tried <coughs> to tell you a few things. <coughs> Sorry, you have this cough going around. Yeah, Marlene trying to tell you a few things, and you're trying to ridicule her, and trying to make it look like she's praising criminal. And I hear Marlene break down and tell you, regardless how, how you look at it, she, the, the boys, them is her brother. Yeah. Whether she embrace well my door or not. What you, Porter, feel to realize that all of us had family. And uh, at one stage, It was a war between Rasta and Babylon. Because I noticed nobody don't talk about the Rasta far right side of Pony Starkey life. And Tony was a Rasta before everything else. When we first touched the road, we were all Rasta youths. 
when Tony opened gun court, he was a Rasta. All of us was Rasta. Johnny Black, The Screw, Errol Sharper, Jello, Timens, Mackay, Kumba, Tony, Keystone, Riba, Deany, Sparboy, Roughly, Earl, Archie, Danny Ratman, Manly, Riba, Lero, Nanny, who is Marlon Sniper father? Uh, Clarence Pang. Uh, Paul Pang. All of us was Rasta. All of us was Rasta. So, be careful because as Rasta, there was a war between Rasta and Babylon. Some of know when Babylon and Rasta becomes one, one entity now that you can attack and forget. You're so biased. You forget, say, it was war. We never see ourselves as no criminal. Criminal or something way. You, the Babylon society, put upon us. And we have to defend it. Yeah, we defend that. We never done, if we never defend it and stand up, you know, we'll wipe us out all out. But I'm here today you now to tell you that stop licking your chest and stop putting yourself now like your duty was to sort of wipe out criminal. When it's not criminal in a fight, it was a revolutionary struggle you were fighting. It was us and them. You were you were upholding the queen suppression of poor people rights, and we were defending it. Porter, get that in your head now and stop act like you was a vigilante where it was okay for you send us. To the departure alone, like we never seen on a talk at the departure lot. You know, you in my last broadcast, but tell us say three quarter our vanguard. How we changed the, the whole global settings when it comes to us and Babylon. I don't want me, me don't even want to bring out the rust stuff to show you how we angle Babylon. Whether in a Jamaica, whether in a England, whether in a Canada, whether in a the US. That's how the word is spelled over. I know una, I know una suppress the youth them now with some kind of psychological different type of thing to soldier like we been there and done that. And fall. Now, listening to Marlene and you interview. I hear on a stock up pan when Marlene tell us eh, you, you try to ask Marlene how oh, stark in him tingle and she named MacLeod. So let me see if I can help clear up that now. Who remember when Bakawa licked down? Who remember? Did you all remember when Bakawal get licked down? Enid, Starkey mother, run with Simon out of house, a, a shanty town, and leave Christopher Thiago in the house. You don't forget that? Wait, a bad ass attack, you know, a back of our story. You, know. you see it? Nobody know. 
But you know, all the time I come, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you some things where you don't forget, you know. Mm. You don't forget. Just like how you don't forget, say, Bongo Eddie, the dead Abakawal. I bet you don't forget, say, when Bakawala get lit down, he need grab Simon McLeod, the little baby there, and run out of the house of Shantytown when the bulldozer come to lit down the house. And left a little baby in the house. That little baby name was Chris, is now Christopher Siago. I bet you the world I want to forget. Say Siago, Christopher Siago, a general stock in the brother. I bet the world I want to forget that. Mmm. I bet I'm talking up. Me know the mystery there. Me know the mystery because me and Enid. Me know want to tell you how tight me and Enid was. Yeah, Miss Enid. For the record, Miss Enid. Out of the whole of my brethren, them mother. Me tell you already, say, Miss Enid was a different kind of woman. People have it off that Miss Enid had quicksilver in her head. Miss Enid is a woman when we die lizard town, me tell you already. More times she go all her meds on the building top. She just go up on the building top and she sit down and hang off her foot off of the building. And everybody thinks that he need to go jump off of the building. And she just sit down there for hours and looking at the sky and a smoke her spliff with the fire part in her mouth. Yeah. People have to have such the kind of chip in the head, but we know that Miss Enid never chip. Because when Miss Enid in a ride from my mind and in the house and pick up a, a card pack, nobody can stick back like Miss Enid. Everybody in the house I get broke and have to go up on the road. Yeah, that's how close me and Miss Enid was. Now, Marlene telling us her mother when cross the arbor race. And the way she talk it, nobody never under I don't think gonna fully understand that. When me and little boy, people used to swim from Port Royal, come to Victoria Pier. That's the cross arbor race. And Miss Enid was the champion of that. General Starkey becomes a champion swimmer also. I tell her, I don't have seaside. My first encounter I meet Starkey. I think I meet Starkey around 1965. Don't have seen. Hold away, I look up. Why? Hold away. Go up upon the waterfront. But let me tell you something again about the waterfront. I think 20, I think, uh, is it safe to say around 20% I'm a bridging them mother. Usually us also upon the waterfront. Hey, you know, Mr. Lequile? 20% of my bridging them mother used to hustle upon the waterfront. Don't ask me what they used to do. That is not a part of the story. But try to work out now how my bridging them. Not for them look like Bob Marley. <laughs> Why? You see this thing we call generational lie? We not talk about Captain Marley. Bob Marley, mother used to dip on the waterfront too. Don't go waterfront. No, a bad ass attack, you know. Bad ass, Bob Marley, mother come from where she come from. But when she live at Chestnut Lane, 
Mm. When she lived down at Chestnut Lane, go ask my virgin big joke. I'm a bigger you than me. And him da, him da all him. Them man they tell you, Mother Brooks used to dog a waterfront too. So me don't say no more. Me just have to know what say. This generation of lie going to make up. So you know, you know, me say look a while. He need to use that waterfront. Mm-hmm. NC of General Starkey. Look like Bob Marley. Waterfront, baby. And, and a we run the waterfront. Three quarter, me, me salt bridge in them. Me not name nobody, you know, but if we not original, we don't know all over the waterfront, baby, them from down the south. That's as far as me going to say upon the waterfront. Nightlife. Who never used to the waterfront? Them you say they are East Cream Street and them you say they are Adnova Street. Nightlife thing me I talk about car I saw it grow from Waterfront to East Cream Street to Anova Street to Rome Lane to Jans Lane to Water Lane. You understand? At Waterfront Syndicate Sailor Boat come in, Sailor Ship come in. Mm-hmm. Man of war come in. A part of the nightlife we're talking about, you know. Porter, you don't know nothing about this, you know. So now, moving right along. Growing up with dinner I'll start, eh? Me already tell you know, the part that always come on the road. So, when we more linky now, me I grew up with Starkey and Simon. Because one night time, I am going to Starkey and Simon. Me not talk him cousin them. Me know the whole I'm family. He hunted them. Me know the whole I hunted them. Me know his grandmother. The whole, the whole big family. But growing up with Starkey one night time, me don't go think Starkey the, the don't go have Simon as a brother. Yeah, when I tell my uncle Simon alone, me know. But me remember when we there at Lizard Town, come tell us, say, me and Starkey come from Chestnut Lane, Girling Street, Tex Lane, different place where I move, where mother move go. Me and he need a part for a long time. He need a part of the team. He need, he need was like, um, what you call it? Ma Barker. She was our Ma Barker. Enid was our Ma Barker. Now, me remember the first day Mikey, who is Michael McLeod, when Michael, my, Michael come down a lizard town and this little uptown boy Cute boy, you know. And we are, it's like night and day, car. Him no, him no fit in. But as an uptown youth come down at the ghetto there now, him like the flex. And the whole place second to Michael. Michael, I think Michael, I look a girl in name, Nuna. Nuna. Marlene, you know, you know, me know the thing, you know. Nuna. Nuna becomes Michael girlfriend. Yeah, I remember Michael start follow me. Michael start follow. Can never follow him, brother Tony. He must follow me because me used to like to go to park and go play bone dice. So Michael start follow me, go to the park. And while Michael in the park, and everybody now get to know Michael. Michael start follow Tarzan and Earl of them and Juby Clinton from South. Because them was the same age group. And Little Papai and Big Papai. 
Michael start follow them. And the next thing you know, them bust out Michael. Michael start throw stick. And Michael, I think, becomes good at it too. Yeah, Michael becomes good at picking pocket. Right? So, Michael was covered because him have we and everybody knew spread fast that Michael was stalking like a brother. Right. So, Ma Michael started come. I think at the time Michael was living in Duane Park. And he used to come, come and go, come and go. But the next thing we know, out of the blue moon, this little pretty girl, I think she was going at the time to Immaculate Conception School. Yeah. Marlene. Remember when Marlene come look for her mother for the first time. Me dead with the first time when Marlene come look for her mother. And again, Marlene fall in love with the place though. Yeah, she fall in love with the place because the place does show up here love because she was just outstanding in terms of how she look, how she uptown girl, you know, it was like a like a flowers in a lizard town. So she was very protective. And I think somehow she start a relationship. With Jamaics. Yeah. So, Porter, when you hear Marlene talk, no dog no bark neither. Because Marlene know what she know. Marlene no grew up in the badness with me. But when Marlene come in at the thing, somehow, Jamaics take her under the wing. So, I don't know now if you say, Marlene pan Jamaics. See me 200 and go up and down the place and the dread, the dread. Cause Jamaics is also, if you ask me, a one of them questionable baby too. Cause Jamaics cute. Yeah, Jamaics are one cute youth. Very cute, Milligan, very cute. And what happened? Jamaics and Marlene strike a nice couple. Then you have Alma and Starkey. So, on the two CB200, you have Marlene and Jamaics, and you have Alma and Starkey. Now, talking about Alma, we cannot talk about Alma because Alma shorter. Mm -hmm. Now, look at it again. Marlene tell us she have five brothers and she was the only sister. Yeah? So you have to understand being the only sister in our team of brothers. Also, Alma had five brothers too, starting with Errol Charter, and she was the only girl again in a fair brother and sister team. So, here we have it. Jamaics again have three brothers. One sister again, Angela. Where you have Danny Quati again, five brothers again, one sister, Lovey. You see how the thing I spread? Then you have me, four brother away, one sister again, in the thing again. So you have Riba. I think Riba was five brother and two sister in the thing. You have DNA, seven brother at them. And save my sister and them. You see, oh, so when you talk about we and rape and them, we never have it in a raping business because in our 
little era where we live. It's nothing but girls. Girls galore. Just like when you have we as brethren, we have our own set of girls. Yeah, you have the part girls, them, the sister in them. You have the hydrin and the sister in. A holy poor woman at all times, just dear for us. So we never have to go look out. The world, me tell you already, say, how we go, the Rima man, them, have a holy heap of sister. We have our sister in them, and because we wasn't royalty as such, the sisters, them, intermingle, cross border, intermingle. I think in other Pang fam family, I think it was four brothers of them too. And I think two sisters just never know the little sister name, but I know Beverly. Right? So it's like we as boys was always protected, protective of our sisters. So don't take Marlene thing lightly like Marlene and know what she had talked about. Marlene was if you ask me, a part of the thing in terms of when we die Lizard Town, Marlene was privileged to what's happening. I bet Marlene if they remember, sir, remember me. Can I leave, me leave so, so early? Not a thing. Can I leave, like I said, 76, me leave, you know. But Something when we really want correct again. I don't remember Tony going to Cuba. So whosoever have that information, because me, no true me leave Jamaica and fly out. Tony was a part of my team where Anytime I get called from Jamaica, I demand them a call me. When I get called from Jamaica, it's either Pepper call me, or Starkey call me, or Dany call me, or somebody I call me, I'm a friend them. So, I don't remember. I don't remember Starkey I go. Starkey is not no big the stock. Yes, yeah, Starkey never go to Cuba. So if somebody didn't know, anybody where I tell you say Starkey they go to Cuba, they must go tell me which time Starkey did go to Cuba. I know when Starkey go to Canada. Yeah, I know when him go to Canada, and I know where happened to Canada, and I know who him shoot at Canada. Yeah, because we shoot people wherever we go, because it's kill or be killed. Yeah, I hear Marlene say, if Starkey did have that for him, living couldn't get no, no clear run. Starkey shooting was authorized and an order as a retaliation over two guns. And I say nothing more than that. Because that is far reaching and that have other implications where it will go into other people's story. I'm not here telling anybody's story. It is the badass chronicle. And I just want to put a clearance on the, the nightlife and a lot of my virgin them mother that was involved with the nightlife. The nightlife of Jamaica and the nightlife back then and the nightlife today, I think not no really change. Yeah, not no really change. I call it nightlife, but whosoever know, know me attack. Yeah, because waterfront, the whole of you grew up and out. Me tell now this a waterfront, everything start. Yeah. 
a daytime who do craft market, a deal with craft market that business, and a night time them deal with the next kind of business. Yeah. Hence, you have a lot of children today look like Bob Marley. Yeah. Do the maths. Bob Marley mad at the nip and the nightlife thing to him. Yeah, but to them have to create the Bob Marley scenario and create the story. So now the generation I lie was Captain Marley, did own a farm, but nobody no know nothing about Captain Marley. And anybody that come now and talk about Captain Marley is just stacking up more lies upon the lies. Just like how nobody no know Mr. Tingle. Nobody no know Mr. Captain Marley neither. And there's, an, and there's a lot of other names that I can call that when you hear the name alone, you know, say, it's nightlife name. And they make up some big name to give you them. Yeah. Because at one, sta at one stage, Everybody, I live and I also by any means necessary. When we say any means necessary, you know, and that we mean, you know. So if me pick up gun for live after that, that, that me pick up, you know, me never decide for go sell my bottom. No, me decide say, hands up and over that. Yeah, 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 it's a struggle. They get to, they get to struggle. So I want my supporter. Me don't really want to talk to you no porter because me not there no let me want to talk to you and tell you our business. But me want you balance yourself when you talk and stop talk like like you have the right to send people at the departure lounge car and no for no get sent down the train up. So now make the thing sound no one way and I cower down the youth them with that. I mean, I want the youth them to listen to your story alone, like, I only did run the place. I only run around the place. Yeah, I only run around the place. I only sit down and take back a while. I, I invade John. I only have to ask the US to come help and invade and drop boom down and all them things there. I only couldn't run in the car. We out firepower any time when we come to firepower. We out firepower any time. Yeah. Because things and time change now. I tell you already, say, no politician never give me no gun yet. The only thing a politician ever give me is a load of a petrol for me, for me thing. Yeah. One time I check a politician and say, yo, I'm going to empty. And him empty him gun and give me. Yeah. Simple. But no policy never give me no gun yet. Yeah, I'm telling her, say, me never buy no gun in Jamaica yet. Yeah. The only place me buy gun is in Florida. When me walk in a gun store in Hollywood, Florida. And look, I walk in a gun supermarket. Yeah. I'm pining to what I want. I'm pining to what I want. And when I tell the gunsmith, say, I want a man stopper. Mm. The man reach up under the counter and take out a Remington double action 16 shooter. And I said to me, say, when I run them, we are half pound. And I said to me, say, badass. If this can stop any man, then that man is unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. You know, so Porter, I want you fix up, you know. And but I also know one of them man the way turn Christian and turn back from the struggle. I want to talk to you to set you straight. The same way how oh, you eat us, Porter. Badass up until today. Maintain that same eat. Yeah, me, me not a police friend. 
Yeah. Me tell you already in the Chronicles. Women that do make a heavy police one piece of my ass. Head. Yeah. Me never have no police friend. By the way, when me touch Dominica, me tell you, say me touch Dominica. And that that year there. That year there. Them they bring. We call it. Um, we call it Sunfest. Not Sunfest, but the other one name. Sun Splash. That year they them bring Sun Splash. Come a jam world. Mm, if you remember. I remember me telling the same day, why we call me at the time. And all would lead to sun splash a jam world. And Natty Chris had a stall over there. And Natty Chris stall was the vanguards them meeting spot. I tell you, they say, when we left Warwick Island, we go a jam world. That's star, a star, you know. So I don't remember, I know say when we reach jam world, why well, things run different, because even though I, a police business and thing, police know say when bad man come, bad man say, we get special pass to come in, and we come in, and we go over Natty Chris car, Natty Chris have a stall. And a Natty Chris stall with the a lick chalice and a do a ref door. And me tell us, I tell myself, remember, Buju was the closing act of the show the morning. And Buju come on stage 7 o'clock the morning. And when Buju come on stage, the top vanguards them. Decides that we're moving to center stage. You know, Jamaica is a funny place, you know. Tell you how Jamaica is funny now. So you can get a, 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 a bigger picture you now when we are talking about. I remember when I was in Jamaica and I got a carib. I got a carib when carib get lock. And when we reach carib, the owner of carib. Open the gate and let we in. And when them let we in, we walk go straight down to the front row of Carib. And everything we done, they sit down already. I we get up and give it them seat there. So man take with himself and girls sit down in a man's lap. Why I bring up that is what happened. The man in a sun splash. The whole away mass up over Natty Chris style. And when would you take center stage? We all would lead to center stage. Keep in mind, say, the place rum and the place pack. Right? And when we move from Natty Chris, from Natty Chris style, to walk, to go a center stage, I remember, it's like how they say Moses part the sea to make, when them call it the Philistine or the, or the Go to. Well, when we start walk from over Natty Crystal, I remember me I come across. And I can't forget this. Ling ava ava tap an upstairs stall. And when and Willie I got up there. Up there. And some of the man them from garden will lock me up up there with him too. Cause I saw the thing set. So when we are walk cross past Ling stage, 
bigger food only them up the top. Right? And when we are walk past the stage, Willie I got will I got up there and see me and make me out. So nobody else up there no, no, no know me. But to all the Warika ill man them have me. Them have me where in a protective she like. Yeah, because them tiny dove carnival are him around the park. And the man them have me in a protective shield. So, so me I walk with them to go over center stage. But really now, up and length stage, and, and like, to, him able to map out and say, wait, I who that the man them surround? And I carry go to center stage. You see when Willie make out say me, Willie scream, ass, right? And don't tell me say I pay blood clot in farm out there so pay police out there so, right? And the boy like style that. And me just look up the pan Willie and say fuck off. <laughs> I would just keep moving. And the place part, and I we go straight. I sent a stage up front for stand up and take in Bojo here that morning, seven o'clock. It stand out in my head. Like I say, my chronicle, you know, and this is how Jamaica treat me when me go to Jamaica. Yeah. When me go to Jamaica, I tell you something. You see this thing here? This thing here. Is that thing where is a sacrifice is a sacrificial type of thing badness. Me watch the whole of my bridge in them. Me watch Tony become Starkey, then becomes the general, then become Ardo. See how much things they become. Me watch Kasai Blacker becomes Johnny Black. Then become star. Me watch these things. Me watch when you become the, the general. It comes with a package. What happened is that most of my bridging them, when they rise up from mass up, come by a car, everything comes straight down. When them rise up, there's a rise. When you rise, if you don't know for control yourself, you can be get carried away. So when I touched down in the last half, you had a crew named the fatherless crew. When I take my talk from no done. And me wake up a jungle one morning. And when me go by my veranda, my veranda full at the fatherless school. Yeah. And I mean now, oh, them want to come lead them. Because them not take talk from nobody else. Them just step on my veranda to take talk from me. And I remember when I look on them you there, eh, my friend them pick me. I realized about us. And I be say come a yard for. You never come for this. First of all, I don't have money for them. I don't have nothing for them. Dove Conicla tell me, say, ask, are you name where your name? Or check just the anger. And them man, they control water commission work. Mmm. Go check so and so, go check so and so, make them know you're in other place. But while he might tell me that, me have a nephew, yeah, me have a Chinese nephew, yeah, yeah, you, you must require me have a Chinese nephew. Top boy that talk. And him tell me, say, Uncle, 
Just let me know when you're ready. You see that? R.I.P. Menevio. Menevio tell me, say, Uncle, just easy and let me know when you're ready. And when you're ready, yeah, I'll make you steady. Yeah, I'm a big dad again. Tell me, say, Dad, when you're ready, let me know. Yes, Tony. Yes, Tony. Yeah, me there, Tony. I tell your story to Kaya you was there for me. My big daughter, Tony. Say, Dad, when you're ready, say the word. So two people tell me when I'm ready, say the word. So I'm just fall. Never look to the right, never look to the left, and never want to leave nobody. Mmm. I remember when I tell everybody, say, you know, something is Africa, I'm going to know, come, I forgot feel it. I forgot free Mandela. Everybody starts to ask, lick him head. That comes from prison, mad as hell. <laughs> and that the whole Jamaica say. When me tell them, say, the struggle right now is South Africa. I have forgot free Mandela. Everything a Jamaica say, that comes from prison. Mad! Lick him head. Supporter, you have some people, man. I have enough man down there right now, man, in a, my category, man, my colleagues, man. Where the man, they, you know, to all them here, you talk, the man, they, you make the man them afraid. But me, I make the man them know, so they know if you listen to you, Porter, you forgot to sit down a, a foreign you there in a protective custody, you there. Yeah, you know, see, so you can't come from the thing, make we see you. Oh, you have so much talk, we can't see you. Stay in hiding, man, and stop. Yap off your mouth. Until the next time, keep it locked. Porter, now you get the message. This is not a challenge, and this is not something where a back and forth thing. You just need to talk. And talk with more respect. And talk with more balance. Yeah. He's a little boy in this. You don't know me. You never see me yet. You don't know me from nowhere. I can of paint. You don't even know a general. Come here, Marlin asks you, do you know my brother? You, you hear about general. You don't know general. You're going like you're general. You have stand up and talk you. Yeah. Simple. Like all uh, bigger food now. No disrespect to bigger food. But bigger food, when I see me. Yeah, see me. But him not know me like that. Yeah. So, you know, when that talk, man, stop going like I don't know run in nobody. Nobody never run me way. Yeah. Me get bigger than the place. So, when me get bigger than the place, them would have to open the gate for me because the place can't hold me no more. I saw the thing going up. I know everybody run way. People take a walk. Yeah. And carry the thing in a bigger, in a bigger arena, bigger fields, because we are big. Yeah. So just don't come work, talk like everybody that run out of Jamaica through Babylon. No, no, go so. Yeah. I dead before the sana. Yeah. And when I come forward, I yard, which part I go? Straight back down, which part I come from? You think me that man is a woman? Me not me not a place in no parish. If you go hide, me grew up no say so one place me for hide and it's around my people them in a back of all. You know me never forgot. Me a one youth we never run out of West Kingston go nowhere. Me never go stay a Waterhouse. Me never go stay a Warwick. Me go the, me visit this place, but me stay in a me place. I'm in a me place. I'm in a me place. I saw the thing set. So fix up yourself, put and don't come keep a talk like you have no power for make nobody can't talk and you alone can't send people by departure lounge.